This video is just a brief introduction into how to set up Core Programming's new Nico Home Control Lighting Driver uh, for the LAN platform. Uh, so what we need to do first of all is go into our configurator for our chosen system. So we've got the details already entered there. Click on configurator and we head on over to the lighting tab. And in the lighting tab it's a lighting interface that we need to add so we click add new lighting interface scroll down the list of drivers and find Nico HC lighting uh, if this driver isn't bundled in your core module package uh, you click the search folder button here and uh, you'll be able to install it from a location on your computer if it's already there and showing up though all you need to do is click OK and OK that's the driver added into the package and as you see it's automatically discovered the address of your Nico IP interface. Now if you want to add lighting circuits if we click discover initially you'll see that nothing's happening here and that's because the driver is not yet activated. So if you enter the key which you will have purchased either directly from Core Programming or uh, depending upon your region through your local uh, LAN distributor uh, we click apply and then we click activate and that's it that's the driver now activated we never need to do that again and now if we click discover uh, the LAN system has gone and found all of our Nico lights uh, we're then free to continue with the rest of our normal programming as we would in a LAN so if we've built custom pages for our lighting uh, we're able to grab a hold of those select the appropriate light and click apply and then straight away that will become fully functional within the LAN system so we're able to raise and lower that light the status is tracked and you can then use it in various event maps or however you choose. Uh, for ongoing support on this driver, please visit our website www.coreprogramming.co.uk.